DeMar DeRozan and Kawhi Leonard just switched teams. Both players having really bad splits with the franchises and going into new situations, new destination, new teammates, new coaching, new playing style. We're gonna find out in this episode who will have a better season, the Toronto Raptors or the San Antonio Spurs. What's my name? So you guys obviously know what we're doing today, man. We're going to be looking at the San Antonio Spurs and the Toronto Raptors, taking over those two teams and doing an NBA League season to find out who's going to have a better team, which player is going to have a better season, DeMar DeRozan or Kawhi Leonard. And then we're going to break it down and see if this is actually going to be a situation or a simulation that actually could possibly happen in this upcoming NBA season. So right now we're gonna look at the Spurs team first. DeJounte Murray starting at point guard, DeRozan, Rudy Gay is gonna be the small forward, LaMarcus Aldridge at power forward, and for now it's Paul Gasol center. Now with the Raptors, they got Kyle Lowry, obviously their point guard, um, Danny Green at shooting guard, Kawhi Leonard at the three. So Danny Green and Kawhi Leonard, two very defensive savvy guys with a back with a Baca as well. So Toronto's gonna look to be a much better defensive team next year with not only Danny Green, but Kawhi Leonard. Um, they're gonna be a whole lot better defensively. So I just wanna see you guys comment down real quick who you think is gonna have the better season and we're gonna start simming these games. Oh wait, yeah, go ahead. I yeah. scroll down. And on the way, if you're not subscribed, you know, hit that subscribe and notification, turn up join song so you know when I drop a video. But go ahead, comment down below and we're gonna start this regular season right on up. So now we're gonna send both teams, obviously gonna send through the season. We're gonna send to All-Star break, check out their stats, check out who's an All-Star, who's making the uh, All-Star team and whatnot. We're only gonna go through one season here just to see who has the best season because Kawhi Leonard might not even stay with the Raptors. He might end up leaving and end up going to LA with LeBron. So I'm thinking, well shoot, I mean, might as well only do a one season, right? I don't know. Maybe something in San Antonio happened that we didn't know about. So maybe he is extremely low. I can't, you know, I'm not the guy to speak on that. But so far, I mean, he looks like he's going to commit. i like to commit to my future with this team. Let's make it happen. If this happens, man, Toronto is really, really set and in a good position. Now for DeRozan, man, it's a huge drop-off from the, like, the previous season that he had. From 27 points to 19 points, 3 rebounds, 5 assists. And I don't know. Me, personally, I don't think he's going to go down like this. I think he's going to have a great season. He's going to average six, 25 points or more, and he's going to dominate. And I think the Spurs are going to have... They're going to be in the playoff mix some way, somehow. See, the Spurs can turn this thing around, somehow make the playoffs. I'm personally rooting for him. I'm a big fan of DeRozan. I like his game a lot. Um, I've said this in past videos. I think he's the closest... Playing style-wise to Kobe that we've seen in the league since he's retired. So, Russell Westbrook wins MVP. Um, they must have had a really good record. 25.7 rebounds or 8 rebounds, 8.5 assists. First team, Kawhi Leonard ends up making it. He averaged 25 points, 6.7 rebounds, 4 assists. 50-40-90 season. So, Kawhi was eating. Like, he was eating. Now, we're going to sim through the playoffs. We're going to sim through... The East specifically, because we don't have a team in the West any longer. Toronto sweeps first round. They're playing the Sixers. Okay, they go. They beat the 76ers 4-1. So now it's between the waiting on the Bulls. Wow, the Bulls and the Celtics. It's Houston versus Golden State in the West. Toronto versus Boston in the East. So Toronto, in this scenario, actually has a chance to get to the NBA Finals. Winning the NBA Finals, that's a whole other conversation of its own. But for now, they are four games away from the NBA Finals. So we're gonna simulate the Celtics win the first game. We're gonna have to simulate, yeah, we're gonna have to simulate this Celtics game. Only way I'm gonna jump in there if it's fourth quarter scenarios and I can win. Right now, it's a blowout in this game too. Blowout, Kawhi 31-11. Only way I'm gonna play is fourth quarter, a couple minutes left, and they need a the buzzer beater, because I'm in there for that. I'm in there like swimwear. Game two. So after the Celtics win game one, Raptors win two games in a row. Kawhi, another 30-point outing. 
Ibaka playing well, Valentunas playing well, and Kyle Lowry playing well. It's tied 90-90. I got to jump in this game, see what the box score is. Kawhi is struggling this game. Can we win this game in two minutes? If we win this, is 3-0 lead. I got to show y'all some kind of action. I know you guys are probably dying to see some kind of gameplay action. So we're jumping right into it. Oh, yeah, by the way, um, so I'm twitching soon, so you guys should uh, check me out on Twitch, more money 12 same as my Instagram. And uh, basically, when I start, especially with the new 2K, I'm going to start streaming in August. Uh, do you guys like this camera angle better, or do you guys like the original 2K angle better? Ask Kyrie Knox in that layup. Now, the only thing I like about this broadcast angle is that it looks like an actual game. Other than that, I personally am not a fan of it, playing style-wise, because you kind of can only really play one side. You can't really play... Both sides of the court, both sides of the court, like you want to. Irving against Lowry, and again it's. And he's gonna do that. I think ball movement is probably the best way to go, and that kind of ball move, movement is not gonna have you win a, a very important playoff game. God dang! So Celtics win that one, so they tie this up. I'm pretty sure it's now 2-2 in the series. So it's tied 2-2, and in the West it's 2-1. We'll go and stay taking that one. Let's go ahead, simulate another Simcast game. Let's see who comes out on top. So far, it's the Raps. Celtics. Oh, I got to jump in. 105-104, a minute and 35 left. Why not hop in this game, give Toronto a good lead, and see if we can win this one and have one game left to play before possibly getting into the finals. Cash me. Let's go, Lowry. Ooh. That's how you feel? Okay, my man got 23, 11, and 7. Oh. Yes. Bang out, cuz. L1. Let's go. There you go. Much needed win for Toronto Raptors. They are one game away from making it to their first NBA Finals ever. Can they do it? Can they get the job done with Kawhi Leonard leading that team? So now the Golden State Warriors in the West, 3-1 lead over Houston. Obviously, no, this is a win or go home situation, but they didn't come to play. They didn't come to play. Toronto is going to the NBA Finals for the first time. Wow. With Kawhi, with Kawhi Leonard at, at as their leader, their best player, he's been averaging 25, six rebounds, four and a half assists. The sky's really the limit for Toronto, man. I mean, the more I think about it, the more this trade really starts to make sense for me if you're a Toronto fan or if you're part of that Toronto management. This move makes sense. Now let's see who wins this game with the Rockets and go to state. Whoa, I should have done Simcast. I should have done Simcast because in a game seven, the Golden State Warriors lose to the Houston Rockets. I got to see this box score. They didn't have Kevin Durant. Klay Thompson, Draymond Green, Stephen Curry, and DeMarcus Cousins can't beat James Harden, Chris Paul, and squad. I mean, this is crazy. And this is not even with them possibly signing the Melo. First game, we're going to simulate it with Simcast. And Toronto getting that advantage in this first game. They got home court advantage. They take that first game. Kawhi dropping 25, three rebounds, three assists, three steals, two blocks. So this hurts this Toronto team a lot. Um, let's see if they can tie the series up. If it's a tight game in the fourth quarter, I will most definitely jump in. But I'm pretty sure Kyle Lowry's not playing because they are getting blown out. Blown out. Oh, man. Let's see if the Toronto Raptors got a fight in them, man. If they could turn this game around, I would like to hop in in the fourth quarter. They got a good lead. Kawhi's under 38 points, nine steals. God dang, bruh. Who did you get the steals on? Chris Paul had nine turnovers, so I would just let you put two and two together. Chris Paul had nine turnovers. Kawhi Leonard had nine steals. Can they tie this up and bring it to game seven, y'all? Can this Raptors team do it? Yes. They can. They go to game seven. This is making me believe in the Serrano move. Now, would I love to play this last game? Absolutely. But uh, 
I can't. Especially these fools. Bro, this is a 20 point. You gotta climb back in this game, y'all. Yes. Yes! Climb back in this game, Toronto. They turned this thing around. They were down. Y'all seen they were down 20. I'm gonna have to jump in. I'll jump in the last four minutes of the game. Okay, this is it. I'm jumping in. I'm coming to save the day, Toronto. I'm coming to save the day. Down four points. Three minutes, 56 seconds left. If we could turn this game seven around, win this one, Toronto gets his first NBA championship ever on his first trip to the NBA Finals ever. That's the five for Houston right now. Oh. Now here's Green for the three. That's a great contest. Chris Paul hits right. the now it hits to right. Yeah. Six to shoot. Yes. Great pass out. Let's go. Great pass. Six, five, four, three, two. Yes. Okay, big man. Come on, Kyle Lowry. Save the day. Woo yes. Baseline. Baseline. Kawhi with the baseline drive. They take the one point lead. Ah. 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 Great contest. Ah. No. Oh. Kawhi. Not. Kawhi. Not. Woo. Is this why they brought you to Toronto? It is why they brought you to Toronto. This is not a far fetched scenario. Kawhi Leonard holding up a trophy for Toronto, being the second person behind LeBron James to win championships and finals MVPs for two separate franchises. Uh, if you guys want to see more scenarios like this, make sure to put it down in the comment section. And of course, that will also come along with these late game scenarios. Game seven stats, Chris Paul, 32 and 13. Joe Johnson had 15 points. James Harden did not come to play, man. Two of 16. Playoff Harden continues in a pivotal game seven situation. Kawhi Leonard delivered 35. Five assists, three steals, three rebounds. I mean, three blocks. Ibaka played well. Kyle Lowry played well. And this is all that Toronto wanted, man. In this next upcoming NBA season, I think this is a real reason why the Toronto Raptors won this trade. And in this scenario, they won the NBA championship. So, hope you guys did enjoy this one. If you want to see more 2019 scenario seasons, make sure to put that down in the comment section. Hope you guys did enjoy this. Turn on those notifications too if you want to. Let you know whenever I drop a video. Definitely gonna start dropping more videos the more these new games start coming along. So stay tuned. Also check me out on Twitch, More Money 12, just like my Instagram and Twitter. I'll be streaming starting August, the latest end of July. And uh, that's all I got for y'all. Hope you guys did enjoy this. And now I'm signing out. Peace. Please don't kill my vibe. Please don't kill my life. Please don't kill my vibe. Please don't kill my life. Please don't kill my vibe. Please don't kill my life. Please don't kill my vibe. Please don't kill my life.